Everyone's her favorite chucks, cause all girls love dairy box chucks. I must have dairy box chucks. In the new white box. All girls. York. A city rich in British history and culture, and now in recent years it has been named the capital of Britain's sweetest industry. Chocolate. Chocolate and confection making have been an exceptional part in Britain's culture, especially here in the city of York. This is the shambles in York, and behind me are three shops that dedicate themselves into making beautiful chocolate and confectionery. And I'm here to speak to John Plant of Sweet Treasures about what chocolate means and confectionery to the city of York. Oh, it's been very important, chocolate and confectionery. Um, for two, three hundred years, it's been one of the uh, big industries within the city. Thousands of people have been employed in the manufacture of chocolate and sweets, um, the retail, the delivery of the products, the ingredients, everything else. But it's been a, a vital part of York's history, I think. There are many rumours circulating that the small independent companies and their herb-made products are slowly dying and being replaced by the massive companies and their factory-made products. But what do the consumers think of this? It I'll should never shut down. Yeah, it'd be awful if that one shut down. It's brilliant. That's very sad, isn't it? It is not it its a shame. Yeah, yeah, because people need to, to have their own businesses. Lovely. Yeah, and you know, the whole the whole country's been taken over by huge, you know. Independent shops need the freedom to do what they want and run the roost. The factories are overtaking the world. Which I think it's a shame because we used to be a nation of shopkeepers. Now we're a nation of supermarkets. We've been here 12 years now. Um, and when we first started there was only us and maybe one or two others in York. Uh, over the last two or three years there's been another five or six open so it's obviously increasing in popularity as the old style sweet shop. Very nice. You need, you need the independence, don't you? You do. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, yes. for, 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 new, for new ideas and, yeah. and to give people a, a, a decent yeah. standard of living, yeah. It's a shame to see all the smaller ones go down because it's a great taste and some things you won't find anywhere else. Main supermarkets. They're going to be everywhere before mm -hmm. long, and we need more people to be back in independence. Yes. Definitely. She wants her favourite chucks, cause all girls love dairy box chucks. I must have dairy box chucks! In the new white box. All girls love dairy box chucks, cause luscious, dreamy milk chucks. Oh, those eggs in dairy box chucks! In the new white box. I prefer this one because it's very soft and nice. That one. Mm. That one. That one. Yeah. I that quite one. like that as well. That one. I think this one tastes better. Mm -hmm. It's. I think this one's a bit sweet. Uh, I think this has got a better texture to it, um, and that's what I'm going to go with. Would you say there's like competition between the big factories and the independent shops here in York itself? Uh, not so. The, you don't tend to get so many of the factories now. I think Roundtrees are one of the, or uh, Nestle, as I think it is, is it now? Uh, one, one of the last factories remaining in York now. And uh, we, we do have plenty of small retailers. In fact, over the last five or six years, I think they've been increasing more and more. Uh, making their own chocolates and selling them from the premises. But they, I think they are different markets. The competition between Nestle and the independent shops is still around. But one thing is for sure, York has a giant sweet tooth. I've been James Ashford and I'm going to be James Ashford Arthur's camera stopped rolling. Sweet dreams.
many claims that York has been made the capital of British chocolate. I mean, mm. do you agree with that? I mean, I, I, I'd, I'd have to. I'd have to agree with that. Yeah.